Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my gaming transformation series where I take this room and do a total 180 on it. Today's part one and we're going to be clearing out this whole room, getting it ready for painting. So let's get into it. Day two started off with some paint prep, so I vacuumed up the room, took off the outlet and switch covers, got those taped off along with the trim around the door and baseboards, and then I hopped into drawing the outline on the wall that I'll be painting. Initially I freehanded this, but when I came back to look at it later, it was honestly nothing like what I was actually going for, so I gave myself some reference points and that just helped clean things up a lot more and made it look more cohesive. From the top part to the reference point is about 1 feet 8 inches all around the room. From the bottom to here is about two foot one inches. Here it is a little taller, but these ones are two foot one inches around the rest of the room. And yeah, so now that the lines are done, we can get into painting. I'm gonna be using three different colors and I'm starting off with my lightest one, which is going at the top and it's called Exclusive Plum by Sherwin-Williams. It's in a flat sheen and my plan of attack for this is to outline the top and bottom of the section and then fill in the area with a roller, do this for two coats and then move on to the next color after this one is dry. Moving on to the next color, we have Foggy Day also by Sherwin-Williams and in a flat sheen. I'm going to be doing the same thing here outlining the top and bottom of the section and then filling in the rest of it with a roller. This was the largest section and I honestly struggled the most with getting the proper form down since it was the biggest. I tried using like an extension pole and that was really really difficult for some reason at first but after I figured out how to properly like move my arms while using it, it just made things a lot smoother. And somehow I ended up going through a whole gallon of paint just for this section. I have no idea what I was doing wrong. I thought I was like nailing the form down, making things look super nice and even. But apparently I was just smacking on coat after coat, but it came out looking really nice though. And now for the final color, I'm using Attitude Gray by Sherwin-Williams and in a flat sheen. I think this section came out the best, third time's the charm I guess. But I had those other two sections to really practice and learn from my mistakes, especially the using a whole gallon of paint on just one section. But nonetheless, I think this section came out the best and I really enjoyed doing this one because, I don't know, I, I was working with this small roller and it just really flowed well. So now that all three colors are done, all the paint has dried, however many coats I ended up putting on, here's a quick little look at the room. So that is it for the painting. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. The colors and supplies that I use will be in the description. In the next video, I will be building my PC, bringing my desk in here to get that set up. But until then, see ya.